visit Valicenti Pasta Farm, you might feel as though you've stepped into the Italian countryside. But this farm to fork food is made right here in the Granite State. We're in Hollis, New Hampshire. Um, you know, a little over a mile or two from the mass border. This is actually the property that I grew up on as a kid. And um, eventually, gradually, I turned it into what it is now. Now, David Valachanti operates a pasta and sauce making operation out of the old apple barn that stood on his family's property since the 1800s. It's actually real. We don't have spaghetti trees, but we grow the ingredients that we use to manufacture all of the pasta and ravioli and um, sauces that we make. And what they can't grow, they get from local farms. Well, that's the idea, is to sort of make this an extension of a farm as much as possible. Whether it's us growing the vegetables, vegetables and herbs or sourcing our cheese uh, from local cheesemakers and our dairy from local dairy farms, the meats from local small independent folks that only have a handful of, of cattle or whatever, that's where we're getting this stuff from. And, and even our grains come directly from farms in the area. David left Hollis as a teen and began working as a chef in kitchens from Boston to New Orleans. His childhood love for food and his big Italian family always a part of his passion. Pasta to me growing up was like the best thing in the world. I would say that gnocchi was probably the whole reason I even got into cooking in the first place. But it was, uh, it always was centered around family. Like you didn't just go roll out pasta for yourself. It was like ridiculous. You, you, had, you had family and friends along. He moved back home with a dream of opening his own restaurant, but instead began making some old family favorites. As a joke, I basically showed my girlfriend how I used to make pasta sauce back in the day with my family, and we ended up selling it, and it really was popular. When I was a kid, we had this typical Italian overgrown garden for four people that was like a garden for 100 people. But we put stuff up every season um, for the winter and a huge part of that was canning tomato gravy. So this whole thing now is basically an adaptation of that. It's not the same recipe. It's not like Nona's recipe or anything like that. It's just there's too many people in my family with strong wills to just take someone's recipe. They would be like, no, you're doing it wrong. Day, the line of sauces has grown and they're churning out fresh pasta as fast as they can sell it. The fresh pasta is like we we get to screw around with that and make make things. There's no blueprint all the time. It's just like let's see if this works and if it doesn't work you trash it and if it does you're like all right let's do it. It's taking simple basic traditional family concepts of making pasta and it's mucking them all up with like fine dining chef sensibility and tinkering and toying with stuff. From sriracha spaghetti to spinach fettuccine and garlic scape linguine, you can get full just reading the menu. But at Valicenti Pasta Farm, one product is not like the others. Ravioli for us is king. At the, at the farmer's markets, um, it is absolutely what we're known for the most. Um, usually because they're, well, A, because they're so good, but there's also so many different flavors which are constantly rotating in and out. Um, so there's always something new. Customers aren't going to be bored and be like, oh, I had that one like seven times already. Is there anything else? We have one that we do with um, carrots and chickpeas. We do a grilled corn and fennel. And we do fun, whimsical flavors like we do a grilled peaches and basil ravioli in the summer, which people absolutely go bananas for. A lot of the creative ravioli combos come from David's years as a chef. Duck confit with shiitake and ginger. That's just like straight up appetizer from like back in the day, and we turn that into a ravioli filling, and that's also one of our most popular fillings uh, when we have it around. Valicenti is a staple at winter and summer farmers markets across the state, allowing them to interact directly with their customers. It's amazement and befuddlement at all the flavors, um, and certainly once they find out that we're a farm and that we're growing this stuff, they really are, they're kind of blown away. They feel so lucky that we've had almost nothing but positive um, reinforcement for what we're doing and feedback from customers. They really, they really love the whole, 
the whole thing. That positive feedback keeps David and the Valachetti team cooking. Cooking up with new menu items all the time to make fresh pasta something everyone can enjoy. That includes a vegan ramen noodle and even a line of gluten-free pastas. Everything is a work in progress, like we're always trying to screw around with stuff. You get restless. It's been 10 years since David first sold that batch of gravy, and now with 10 acres of fields and greenhouse, he's keeping it local and doing what he loves. As a chef, you're gonna, you're gonna cherish um, what's local and what's freshest, I think, is as a consumer, that's also what you want. Everyone wants to have a garden. Maybe they don't want to do the weeding, but they certainly want the vegetables out of that garden. They prefer that over anything. So, you know, this is sort of the driving force behind, behind the whole concept. It's really all a matter of like making something that is truly like from the garden in as many ways possible as we can.